This is the seawater pump impeller body change on a Mercruiser. This engine is obviously out of the boat. You want to remove both hoses off of the back of the seawater pump. Remove all hardware from pump. And you can also make a mark to make sure it goes on just the same as you take it off. Slide it back. <clears throat> you can see the impeller in the housing. This is a one piece housing. We'll go over that. And you can see the shaft there. Just has the one notch cut out in this design here, along with the wear plate. You can go ahead and pull the impeller out of the housing. This particular impeller you can see is in pretty bad shape. And this housing also has a crack in it so we will not be reusing it you also want to look on the inside here see if there's any scoring which this one has also along with scoring on the inside this is the replacement kit that we ordered in for the one piece body this is the original setup here this is the uh, new new components here with with housing plate and hardware as you can see the difference between the two impellers with the ears folded over obviously the damage on this one nice fresh impeller here I'm going to put the new o-ring into the housing right there lightly greased the new plate line it up there next thing we're going to do is put a little bit of light lubricant or grease inside the housing just for ease of installation for the impeller and then we're going to take the impeller and we, we know which direction it rotates on the on the pulley and we also know due to the way that the uh, old impeller was pulled out we're going to go ahead and install it while turning it that direction There's partially in. There's all the way in. Now we're going to install the housing with the impeller in it with the keyway groove onto the shaft. And then we're going to rotate the housing uh, in the correct direction until we get all of everything lined up. From there we can slightly Pull it back just a little bit, enough to get the plate lined up how we want it. Get your first bolt in, everything else 
uh, should line up correctly. Next thing is reinstall the rest of the hardware into the housing. Get all the hardware torqued down evenly, tightening up in a cross pattern. Reinstall both your your hoses, your input in this case, and your output uh, onto the pump and tighten up the clamp.